off that face. It's so intense. She's looking right at us. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm gonna make Lisa react to something she's never heard before. Here we go again. This is Rob Halford singing Painkiller. He is the lead singer of Judas Priest. Okay, no content, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm about to get into you know, here. He uh, was just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's cool. And his fans call him the metal god. So Ooh. I think it's worth a listen. Okay, let's dive in. <laughs> The drums. <laughs> huh. Come on. Wow. Oh. oh, this is fun. This is such energy. Ah. So, um, this is Painkiller by Judas Priest. Um, it's just a little bit different than the music that I think you and I listen to listen on the regular. To. Okay, I I don't hate it. Right? Like, I'm intrigued by his voice. It's okay. so high. It's very high. And he's using a lot of, like, fry. Those vocal cords are... Yeah. There, there's some friction happening mm -hmm. there. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Let's keep going. Monster! Fire! Okay, yeah. he's... I have to say, I always tell my singers to avoid the R's. He's British too. Oh, and yes. that's helpful. Mm -hmm. So, yes. some very good um, word shaping there. Mm -hmm. Slides up. It's all really high and like constant distortion on the phone. <laughs> so many questions. It's like uh, um, he's. Hmm. There's so much intensity, yeah. like, and there's so it's much distortion, intense. but there's also this like, question mark in my head about, like, he, uh, he's doing it well. Right. Like, it's not, he's not just... It's not just screaming no. randomly, right? He's actually articulating. He's, like, he's hitting the notes. You have to acknowledge that this is all really high for a man to sing. Uh, yeah. And... I feel like he's hitting the, like a really consistent level of intensity and energy yes. all throughout. Yes, and I would be super curious. I would love to just be like in the room while he's singing because I'm suspicious that he's not singing as loudly as you're perceiving oh, him to be singing. That's a very good point. And right, I, right. Because it sounds like a constant scream, but he's like, no, he's on a mic. It's controlled. He's right. on a mic and he's had a long career, right, so right. he's clearly able to sustain this. So yeah. something's working. <laughs> Very long slide down. I can't even oh, tell if his voice totally was like, still going or did the guitar nice. take over at the end there. Ah, so good. That oh, it's gonna be a guitar solo. Oh, this song is so intense. This, everyone is working so hard right now. Yeah. Okay, so he's actually, this whole section here, he's, we're, we're hearing like moving parallel fifths. Ooh, the Which the is harmonies. really weird sounding to our ear. Like it, in, yes. in music theory is something you actually kind of want to avoid because it sounds really strange. Yes, but here but it's working. It's like reminiscent of like, you know, a, a, like a monk's chant or something. Oh. He's like repeating patterns and these moving parallel fifths. It's just a really weird effect. I, it's kind of cool. Uh, Thank you for pointing that out. I love this. It's really consistent. Oh. 
That is a very high note. Ah! No, that's higher. What? Okay, so I, mean, I think we're hearing a lot of a lot of effects and vocals, but he's he's hitting a high A five. Oh, my backing up. Hold on. Yeah. For a guy, it's just, that's a hard, that's a really high note for any female singer. Okay, so this is a music video, yes? Mm-hmm. So I wonder, I'm very curious about how he does live. Right. I am glad you asked. <laughs> you have I have a clip from when the song came out. Okay. Um, it came out in like 1990. Oh. So this is a live performance a from 91. Ooh. Yes. What? And he's just... That drummer work. <laughs> no way. So, so he's not doing that super crazy high note here. He's so high. Um, I think Rob Helford himself said, like uh, from a recent interview, I, I wish I could sing Painkiller like I did in 1991, but I can't anymore. Like I've been using these pipes for 50 years. <laughs> And he says, but I can give it a good go. <laughs> That's a great attitude. Yes. This is shocking for a live performance. Right. Like, it's like, it's just as good and full of energy and intensity. And he's just giving it his all. I'm hearing more, um, a little bit more of that, uh, the word, the word. Friction. Yes. Is that it? <laughs> yes. A little bit more of the distortion uh -huh. happening. You're getting a, like a, almost like a thicker, grittier sound. Yeah. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. So the song has a long instrumental in the middle. Okay. So I want to skip back to the kind of end of the music video. Okay, so more we're good heading, gems coming. We're going back to mm -hmm. the music video. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we're just rolling his eyes. Is what is happening? That's a big open shape. Yeah. Like how it scoops up. It's got like a very bright overall tone, I think. Very bright. Yeah. It's like very cutting and sharp. I mean. It's a very serious song. Why they call him the middle guy? Yeah, I concur. <laughs> More is happening. Oh, that face! It's so intense. We're looking right at us. <laughs> Dear. Lower. This is the lowest we've heard him sing yeah. so far. Right. And that's comfortable for most female right. voices. Right, it's still not very low for a man. No. Yeah. But his voice does sound a little darker there. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, and we're back high and full of intensity. Ah. Colorado? Ah. Everybody Ooh. is the star of the show in this I song. Know. Everybody is Incredible. the star. All of them. <laughs> Nice to give him some vocal break. Give him a little rest. <laughs> <laughs> I like this moment. This is an incredibly long note. And he's got some brown on it. Oh, what? So that last note is incredible. It's he forever. He just held that for like 20 seconds. And it was the most like um, 
it felt like it was the mo- richest note it's I like heard the in the song. Singy, sung yes. Note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's probably true. <laughs> I want to hear what he sounds like in not as intensive a setting. Mm. Like I feel like. I mean, this is amazing. There's right. very few people who can accomplish that. But like that last note made me think, like, what does it sound like when he sings just like a? I'm non- so glad <laughs> that you're saying this okay. because I also have a tiny, tiny clip of him just singing a song. Um, this is "Diamonds and Rust," actually by Joan Baez. It's a fun what? song. I know. What? It's kind of a strange fit, but you get you get to hear his voice um, just like singing a little bit more. Yeah, okay, really, 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 really want to hear that. Okay, let's have a quick listen. Okay. And you decided to call. Same person? Yeah. Here I see it. Oh, that's very more melodious. And now the telephone. He jumps up, not a problem for him. He's singing in a completely different coordination. Right? Completely different. But he has, like, he has mastered this as well. Like, he sounds so comfortable doing this. Yeah. It's not the... Right. It's suddenly there's no distortion, but like yeah. it's it's good and thick and rich, like Chest vocal. Voice yeah, it's dominant. Good. Hearing the voice I know a couple of light years ago. And it's streets in the fall. And like airy, breathy tone here. And like a good vibrato and like a big thick vo- like note. Nice. I'm right, a fan. So to see this in contrast with Painkiller, which is honestly I threw you in the deep end. Like that's <laughs> that was like whoa. It's where a, are we it's going? A big Buckle song. up. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. What this a is voice. So cool. Yeah. This is like I think probably I mean my favorite part of doing these reacts videos, other than <laughs> being surprised by songs I've never heard before, because you never know what Julia is gonna come up with, is just like. Exploring the versatility of artists and, right. and being curious about music that you wouldn't maybe normally listen and to. And every voice is so different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, this was a fun one. I would love to hear from you about this. Are you a fan of Judas Priest? Are there any other, this sort of genre video that you think we should be checking out and reacting to? Um, Yeah, this is a ton of fun. So Mm -hmm. thanks for hanging out. Of course, as always, if you want to start exploring vocal styles, make sure you check out our style level in the Singio method. Um, And we're always here to help with student reviews along the way. So we're here for you. Happy singing and we'll see you around.